I've seen your truck here. Uh, I've seen it around, seen you on the road. I, I noticed you've done some updates to it. Yep. Uh, kind of tell me a little bit about what you've done to it uh, recently. I, I can tell a sleeper for sure because, I mean, you've got anything, anything you need in there, I'm sure. Uh, just kind of tell me a little bit about it. Well, I put a, I took the 63-inch sleeper off that I've been running, put a 132 ICT sleeper. It's a 2004. Bought it off another guy that put a, took his off, took that one off, put a 144 on his truck. Wow. So we literally had to, well, down the size, we literally, once we got it installed, we had to make different panels to line up with my panels, which most big sleepers, you can't get eight inch drop custom panels for a 132. Okay. So we had to make that. Has a shower, toilet, kitchen. It makes it a lot easier when we're running down the road. A lot more room for me and the wife and the dogs. A lot more comfortable. That's cool, because I mean, I'm just two trucks down, so when I yep. need to go to the bathroom, I may run over there. No, nah, that ain't so, gonna happen. Okay. No bathroom uh, for you. Okay. Quarter plus right, that I way. I thought I'd try. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely looks good coming down the road. I've seen you a few times, and uh, you, you, you know, you can't miss it. Uh, beautiful truck. Uh, I know I've, I've I've seen it before, but the paint on it is is very very unique. Yeah, the paint uh, the paint's airbrush. We went with the flames. Being a firefighter all my life and okay. adding that into the addition, doing the real fire, my paint guy, you know, his son's done it on Harleys, never done it on semi, so this is the first semi they actually did it on. And then we named the truck fully involved in the back due to the fact, you know, trucks fully involved in flames. I've been in fully involved fires and buildings, and me and my wife's been fully involved in building the truck. So that's cool. That was that's, the name we decided good, that's to make a good it. Phrase, yeah. Uh, so does your wife run with you most of the time? Yes. My wife's been running with me for, well, we've owned a truck for 17 years, so 17 years she's been in the truck. That, that, that is, that's very neat. That's very neat. Uh, she's got to be a tough woman, is all I can tell her. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, your two dogs, uh, yep. I, I, they're just like family, I can yeah, tell. Oh, yeah, I'm, Bumper I'm, and Bailey. I'm, yeah. I'm a dog lover myself. Uh, but you got the truck looking great. Uh, do you plan on doing anything else in the near future? Are you just going to kind of see what happens? And um. We've been thinking about it and trying to get everything and trying to figure out what we're going to do with it. But we're actually getting ready to knock the slide fifth wheel off and actually put the fifth wheel farther to the back axle because I'm so heavy on the steers. Okay. So we have to put more pressure down on the drives. So we're going to do a tripod stand on there and then do a full deck plate so you can go right up underneath the fifth wheel and be able to see the whole fire from the front to the back. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. And then repaint the frame and just do some odds and ends here. Now, I know you pull a drop deck, step yep. deck. Uh, Y'all kind of haul the same stuff or just a little bit of everything? We haul a lot of equipment. You know, IMT, Jeremy Gouch, he owns the company. He leased me on. The trailer's his, but he actually had the trailer painted to match my truck because I stay hooked to that trailer all the time, which was good. It yeah. worked out great for me. Um, we haul a lot of crane bodies, you know, uh, mechanics trucks. Um, the service trucks that the TA and the Petros have, we haul yeah, them and I, deliver I, them. I've seen y'all's trucks with them. I mean, before, but... a lot, a lot more equipment, a lot more specialized. Right, right. You know where you got to use the ramps and everything else. Well, I like what you've done, and uh, what what I think's neat about the deal is you're, you're home all the time. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, pretty much. When uh, I'm not in that home, yeah. I'm at my home. Yeah, you're at your real home. But so I mean, one way or another, I'm in a house. You got all the conveniences. Uh, yes, sir. And I know, I know it has to make life a little easier out on the road. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. And, uh, it's it's even better, you know, you go down the road and all of a sudden you feel like you want a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Just tell mama I'm hungry. She fires the generator up, cooks me a ham, egg, and cheese, and we just keep going. That's got to be nice. Uh, oh, it's nice. I like what you're doing with it. Be proud because it's a, it's a bad ride. Thank you. It's, uh, it looks good. Appreciate it. All right, Yours ain't bad up. yourself. <laughs> well, I'm just a driver, but I feel pretty lucky. I, I want to appreciate the, you know, I appreciate the crosses letting me do it. Oh, no problem. Drive it and everything. So. You got to use the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. All right, okay. you take it easy.